Hey guys, Steve Petrato here and my good friend James Haley from the Blade Development Team. We're here to talk to you today about a really exciting upgrade for your Blade 360 CFX. Now James, I see three rotor blades on this 360 CFX. I'm assuming we're talking about a, uh, the upgrade kit or a conversion kit. Tell yep. me a little bit about why we would go and why someone would buy a conversion kit uh, that to you know, improve their 360 CFX to a three-bladed head. Yeah, uh, right now, you know, there's kind of this new trend in the three-bladed models. Um, what it does is it gives you a lot more collective authority, a third, and uh, it gives you a lot more control authority um, to the flybros unit, so everything's a little bit more stable, a little bit snappier, um, you get a lot faster cyclic rates, um, so there's some advantages. Um, you get to lower your head speed down a little bit, um, so flight times, depending on how you fly, can increase or decrease. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of advantages and it just looks really cool in my opinion. Yeah, it does look very cool, especially sitting on a table like this. So tell me about what you get with the conversion kit and what you need to buy. So let's start with just the conversion kit part of it. Yeah, so there's the rotor head conversion. Uh, it's BLH 4752. Uh, it's $50. Um, and that comes with the head block, um, three sets of spindles, one set of one blade grip assembly, and uh, the two swash pieces um, for the inner swash. Um, okay. So you still use your outer swash pieces, so you do have to assemble, disassemble your swash. Um, what's nice is it uses the same blade grips, same blade arms, same pitch links, yeah. uh, same dampers. Um, all you do, like I said, you change that inner swash. Um, you use the same washout arm from the old one. Okay. So what that does is you know, allows you know, a direct conversion. We kept it uh, $50, try to keep it as cheap as possible you know, without yeah. adding the extra blade grips in there. So uh, you know, a lot of people can try it out. Yeah. So okay. So basically, what you're saying is, that it's 50 bucks, but you you aren't getting everything you need because you use parts from your two-bladed head. But that really does keep the cost down for you guys. So that's a really good thought there. Yeah. I'm glad we did that. Uh, and then what about the rotor blades? You don't get those in the conversion kit, I, I assume. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, the rotor blades are separate from the conversion kit, so that way, you know, if you crash, it's the same spare part there. Sure. Uh, that's BLH 4751. Okay. Uh, that's 60 bucks for the blades. Okay. Um, so it makes it, you know relatively affordable to go out there and try a three-bladed model now. So yeah, for a little over 100 bucks, you can have a fully three-bladed rotor head on your Blade 360, and you don't have to go out and spend, you know, countless dollars on a, a larger heli and getting yep. larger 700 size blades. So this is an excellent way to get into three-bladed aerobatics. All right, uh, let's see. So we have to swap out some of the parts. Um, what else? What else should we know about this? I mean, this is a really cool upgrade. Yeah, um, you know, the one thing to note: you don't have to change anything in your flybarrels unit either. Uh, okay. No phasing adjustments or anything. It's all counterform mechanically. Okay. So that allows you know, you can fly it two bladed. You know, pull the head off, do a quick change. Uh, to change it, it's uh, rel relatively easy. You pull the old head block off with mm -hmm. the G's bolt, loosen up the washout arms, pop your swash plate off too. Uh, change that inner swash plate. It's really easy. It's four bolts on the inner one. Pop that off. Pop the new one together. Um, then uh, pull your spindle off on the old one. Keep your blade grip assembly all together. Mm -hmm. um, you know all the thrust bearings and everything. You don't even have to change any of that. Uh, the spindles you insert those into the head and has a shoulder bolt going through that okay. holds the bolt together. And the spindle in. Slide your damper on just like building. You know. Yeah, it's just like you're building the rotor head. Yep. Pop those all on there and slide the whole thing back on and. Uh, install your blades. Um, tracking is a little bit more difficult. Um, sure, three blades instead of two. Obviously. Yep. Uh, we've had good luck with uh, using a you know a digital pitch gauge. Mm -hmm. uh, we go to menu J in the system, mm -hmm. and then we zero the pitch out um, on one blade, rotate it, and have okay. them all relatively zero um, over the boom or forward, and you know same direction. And then they should be pretty darn close out. You know, when you go to flight, you might have to make one turn on one blade. Just tweaking. Yeah, a little, of course, it's going to like anything. It's going to be a little yep. tweaking. All righty. Uh, so rough, rough time to get this conversion kit from the two-bladed to the three-bladed. What do you think? 15, uh, 20 minutes or maybe more than that? I would say half hour okay. safe. But um, that's really not bad at all. No, I mean, no. Even if it took you an hour, it's still a really easy, uh, yeah, easy conversion. Yeah, and then you can, if, you know, if it's not for you, you can always go back. Um, one thing to note is if you do want to change your governor settings, I run the stock settings in there and um, you'll get really short flight times in that idle up two, but idle one or even normal mode mm -hmm. um, is, works really well. Um, another thing to note is, uh, you know, it is a little bit different um, for the cyclic rates, so you might have to increase or decrease your cyclic rates sure. depending on what you like. So most of the time it's a direct, but you know, some people have different ranges. Yeah, everyone has their own personal preferences. 
Awesome. James, well, thanks for coming out and talking to me about the 360 CFX three-bladed head conversion. Guys, if you want to learn more, please check out, uh, of course, horizonhobby.com or bladehellies.com or check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash bladehellies. Take it easy, guys. Thanks, guys.